What is spoofing? This email seems very suspicious. There are five red flags in this email. So pause the video and see if you can identify the five red flags. Okay, you're back. Did you find all five red flags? Well, here's one. Why would a bank manager be using a Gmail account to send us an email? That's very suspicious. There's another one. Banks tend to give personalized greetings and not generic greetings. There's one too. Banks would not have a poor grammar or spelling in their emails. And there's some terrible spelling in this one. There's another one. Links tend to be associated with dangerous activity on the internet. So I would be very suspicious of this link. And there's the last one. Immediate action. They are trying to put pressure on us to do something and not give us time to confirm the information, which is also very suspicious. So there are the five. Did you get them all? This is a very suspicious email. And we don't think it's coming from the actual bank manager. Spoofing is a type of scam in which someone pretends to be someone else in order to access sensitive information, spread malware, and gain access to systems. There are different types of spoofing attacks. For example, email spoofing, like the example we saw above, is when someone sends you an email and they alter the email in such a way to hide who they really are. They can do this by changing the front part of the email or by modifying the body part of the email to make it look like it's coming from a legitimate company. Caller ID spoofing is when you receive a call from someone and they have changed their telephone number so that it looks like they are in the same area or country as you in order to fool you. Text message spoofing is when you receive an SMS or text message but the number listed in the message is not from who it actually is. This is often done when messages are sent from a computer. Website spoofing is when a fraudulent website poses as a legitimate one. This is often to get your information like in a phishing attack. IP spoofing is when someone hides their location so that you don't know where they are sending or requesting their data when online. GPS spoofing is where you change your GPS location in order to trick your device into thinking that you are in a completely different location. This is often used in games like Pokemon Go when you are trying to catch Pokemon in another country even though you are not there. And DNS server spoofing is when DNS records are altered in such a way as to redirect traffic to a fake website. There are lots of ways that you can protect yourself against spoofing. First of all, avoid clicking on links in emails. They could be sending you to a fake website in order to manipulate you to get your information. Be wary of strange attachments. They could be manipulating you in order to install malware onto your devices. Look for the red flags. We mentioned a couple at the beginning of this video. Try to identify when a message is suspicious. Set up two-factor authentication. When logging on, don't just use your username and password, but have a second way of validating who you are. For example, a one-time PIN or a secondary question. Download and update your anti-malware. It's designed to find spoofing attacks and make you aware of any potential threats. And confirm information from the source. If you are unsure if this information is legitimate, then go directly to the source and ask them. Don't use the links or the addresses in the message that you received, but go directly to the company and ask them if this information is true. And hopefully that will help protect you against potential spoofing attacks. New videos are posted every Thursday, so leave a comment about which computer term you want us to do next. Follow us on TikTok so that you can find us there too. Click on that subscribe button. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.